Yo, what's up guys? I wanted to make a different video, but this came out and this is like 50 times more important. They're adding rank rewards. And a lot of the other changes are good. You know, there's there's a clown rework they're talking about, there's some UI changes, a couple perks were changed. I don't like the change to open-handed, but a lot of the other perks were good, necessary, uh, undying nerf. You might think this isn't a big deal, but this is actually probably the worst thing they could have possibly done for Dead by Daylight. Let me explain. The only reason that Dead by Daylight is fun is because both sides, 99% of the time, aren't trying as hard as they can. Because a lot of experienced players realize that th there's no point in ranking up. It, it doesn't matter if you're rank, you know, 8, rank 1, rank 4, rank 3, like, like it doesn't matter. Hitting rank 1 doesn't mean anything, it doesn't do anything, so people rarely try that are more experienced in the game to hit rank 1. This completely changes that though now hitting rank one gives you 250k blood points in each roll you can uh you can get it from survivor and killer so that can be 500k blood points if you get survivor and killer to rank one that's pretty good assuming you don't have any ways to boost your blood points that's maybe 15 games of killer maybe 20 games of survivor that's that's good i mean i'm not hating on the amount of blood points but that's the problem there's a, there's a reason to rank up now. Everyone and their grandmother is going to be trying as hard as they can to win now because there are rank rewards. And you might say it's already like that, and let me tell you, no it's not. Previously, you wouldn't play your best killer and run the strongest stuff, or play, you know, survivor and run the most OP stuff and play super seriously because it, it didn't matter. If you hit rank one, you got absolutely nothing besides, you know, games where people play moderately more seriously. Now it's like, you, you run a really annoying perk or perk combination, or you play, you know, a really high tier killer, it's like, I'm trying to hit rank 1, there's rank rewards now, there's a point to rank up. You are going to see so many more survivors running Decisive Strike Unbreakable. You're going to be seeing so many more killers running, you know, heavy meta. Rune Undying is still probably going to be meta, even with this, you know, nerf to Undying, it's probably still going to be meta. You're going to be seeing a lot more spirits, a lot more, you know, insta-heal med kits, a lot more keys, a lot more, you know, tunneling and, and camping, because let's be real, people say camping doesn't get you points, but it'll still rank you up. You, you see what I'm saying? This game, and this is a prediction, this is going to become the biggest sweat fest that has ever existed in Dead by Daylight. I, I am calling it. This will be, this month will be an absolute hell to play in. Every person is going to play like true talent, where you do whatever it takes to win. You slug the third person and run around the map for four minutes looking for the fourth person. You know, just stalling the game out for an extra 15 minutes because you've got to get that double pip and hit rank one. There is good size though. You don't have to stay at rank one until the season ends. You just have to hit rank one. So a lot of people will hit rank one and then they'll go back to not trying hard. But the downside is... There are always going to be new players, you know, filtering in, not like new to the game for the first time, but players who might not have played right at rank reset, who are going to be trying to hit rank 1. So there will always be this influx of a lot of players that start are starting at rank 20 and then just grinding their way up to rank 1 super hard as quickly as they can. Dude, this game is not going to be fun anymore, I'm going to be honest. And you might say, well, then that's the game's problem for not being fun when everyone tries. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. I, I don't think this game's dead. I don't think it's going to die from this. And I do think a lot, like I said before, a lot of the other changes are going to be good. But this change is going to kill Dead by Daylight for a lot of people. I am predicting. I am calling it now. Look back at this video when I'm right.